sad. My lease is ending in April. The floors are all messed up. They're all wooden floors and they're all messed up. I thought about it too much. If you like an apartment, you need to make a reservation right away. I absolutely loved the fact that the kitchen was this big. This is an unusually big kitchen. The building was old and it was falling apart and of like there was absolutely no reason at all why the expenses should be that expensive. The goal was to move to rent a new apartment by the 15th of March. Essentially the apartment of my dreams. But there were so many mosquitoes that day. If you tell me that you are interested, then you will be taking priority over everybody else who's seen the apartment. Everything was non-negotiable. $3,600 in commission. Hello everybody, what you're gonna see today is a little bit of my apartment hunting adventure for the time that I had to move recently, this year. At that time that I had to move to another apartment. Um, you're gonna see a little bit of my thought process when I was going through it, a little bits and pieces of past Sabrina talking about her feelings when she was told that she needed to move, what she was thinking or feeling or saying when she was in the middle of processing of, of finding an apartment and then you're gonna see future Sabrina, meaning myself, um, giving you a little bit more context on the apartments that I visited. Without anything else to say, let's jump right into it. I hope you enjoy it. I am sad. I don't know if I've mentioned this before in another video. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But my lease is ending in April. And the, um, the guy from the real estate company who was managing the rental told me, yeah, sure, I think that they're going to renew the lease for you. The owner has had the apartment for almost 10 years and she always rents it out. So I don't see why they wouldn't rent it to you again. I don't see why they wouldn't renew your contract. You've been an excellent tenant. And then they told me that they were not going to renew my lease because the after almost 10 years of owning the apartment and renting it out she's going to sell the apartment to her sister which she's in all of her right to do it right but i was i i cannot say that i am not disappointed and that's obviously cost um some stress for me because uh, my lease, the last month of my lease is April, so I have up until the end of April to live here and find another apartment. But then that puts me in a little bit of a complicated position because if I actually do wait until April to rent another apartment and I wait to like, hey, can we start the, 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 the new lease in May? Um... I'm not going to have time to actually move because I'm traveling by the end of April. I'm going to the U.S. for the first time ever in my life. And I would postpone the trip except that I can't because my visa is going to expire. They only gave me the visa for one year. So I have to go this time because it expires in August. So I have to go with enough time on the visa, I guess. Or maybe that's just me being cautious, but okay. Anywho, um... I'm going to the US, so I cannot actually wait until the end of April to start a new lease in May because I need to do everything before I move. And that means that I'm going to have to pay double rent in, for a period of time whenever I do find the apartment before the lease is over. I reached out to the real estate agent today and I told him, hey, seeing as to how you are not renewing my lease and I'm gonna have to look for another place to live, I am assuming that I can rescind my contract without any sort of penalty, right? Because usually if you rescind a contract, there's some sort of penalty, like you lose the, the deposit and you have to pay a fee or whatever. But this time it's their fault that I'm not renewing the lease. Um, and I have to find living conditions. I have to sort out my living conditions before I leave. And the other issue is that if I wait until the last, the very last uh, month that I have available, maybe I won't find something that is suitable for me. Maybe I won't find something that I actually like. So I would have to rush and rent something just so that I'm not out on the streets, uh, just to solve my temporary situation. And that would be detrimental to me. So I have to be kind of like on the lookout for apartments that would be beneficial or that would be a good fit for me. And if I do find an apartment 
earlier, then they're not gonna wait months until I finish my current lease. They're gonna expect me to go in right away. And he was like, that is a very good question. Given the conditions, I believe it's obvious the answer will be a positive one, but I will consult with the owner. And I'm really hoping that it will be a positive one because I really did was, like I really actually was a great tenant. I The previous tenants that were here before me, they left this apartment a fucking mess. The floors were all fucked up, the walls were all fucked up, everything was fucked up, and in the three years that I've been here, nothing has been fucked up. So, um, yeah, I was a great tenant. Anywho, um, that's caused a lot of stress for me. I was very involved with my family as a child because things in Venezuela got very complicated financially, so I've been working and supporting part of my family expenses since I was 18, but still, Still, my family didn't rent an apartment, they owned their own apartment, so I, they didn't have this particular type of stress in their lives. Okay, so let's start with apartment number one. Apartment number one is one that I got from a Facebook group called Alquiler Dueño Directo. And the reason why people go to these types of Facebook groups is because they don't want to deal with real estate agencies to try to avoid the requirements that people ask for, like a property as collateral, which I don't have. So I appreciate trying to negotiate that. What I'm showing here is that the apartment has a like a connection for a washing machine, which not many apartments have. So I appreciate that because I do have a washing machine. As you can probably not tell, the kitchen is kind of small, which is a point against the apartment. A point in favor of the apartment is the fact that it has three bedrooms. A point against is the fact that the the floors are all messed up. They're all wooden floors and they're all messed up. They were trying to plastify them again, but the fact that they are messed up and ugly, it's a, something that they were not gonna change unless they replaced the entire floors, right? Um, a point in favor of the apartment as well is that it had three bedrooms, which means it was very, very big, which is unusual for Buenos Aires. A point against is the fact that it's relatively old. So you have two bathrooms, but one of the bathrooms is more like a half bathroom because it's very, very small. And as you can see, it has a shower head right there, no division, it's just like a closet space. And if you do decide to shower there, everything else would get wet. I made an offer in this apartment. They were trying to rent it out for 650,000 pesos. In my opinion, that was kind of uh, expensive at the moment. It was in a very good neighborhood. It was in Colegiales, uh, kind of close to Estacion Olleros from line D of the subway, but it was seven blocks away from it. So still not ideal. Um, and they were asking for three months deposit, which in my opinion is a bit excessive. Three months is a lot when you don't have another property to use as collateral in your lease. People would usually go to, like they would usually ask you for more of a deposit. But I think that asking for two months of a deposit is reasonable in dollars. Asking for three is excessive. So I didn't like that. The offer that I made was um, $550 instead of the $650 that they wanted to rent it out for and two months of deposit instead of three months. And what they did is that they ghosted me. So I guess that was a no. And I didn't really insist because it was not my favorite option that I had visited. I think it was the first option that I'd visited at that moment. And the only reason that I really wanted to make an offer is because if, if they were gonna make it easy for me, then it's worth it. But if they were not gonna make it easy for me, I was not gonna fight for it. Um, so yeah, that was my logic behind it. Now, let's go to number two. This second apartment I also found through that Facebook group. And one thing that I fell in love with was basically the kitchen was super big compared to other kitchens that I'd seen and had that funny thing that I opened. This is an in-between space that between the kitchen and the rest of the apartment that goes through a service bathroom. Why does there need to be a service bathroom, you ask? I am not really sure, but there is a service bathroom, which serves as a second bathroom in general for the apartment. That was the main bathroom that Marcelo was going to. And this is the walk-in closet that is in the main bedroom, which is a nice touch. Not many apartments have a walk-in closet with a safe in it. And the mother of the owner of the apartment was there and she was like, that's a safe for you and where you're going to save and store all of your dollars. And I was like, yes, of course I am, ma'am. And this is 
the main bedroom, which has a lot of windows and goes out to the balcony, which means it is a very airy and, and it has a lot of natural sunlight, which is really good. I liked that the balcony was not super small, that so small that it made you fear that you were going to fall off the balcony. Um, and it also had like those safety things put on there and it had a very rusty um, grill that we would have replaced anyways. The main bedroom was not that big. And I imagine it's because they gave that space to the walk-in closet, but that's not my biggest issue with it. And then it also had a nice second bedroom that would have been a very good um, office space. Um, and it also had a very nice closet in the second bedroom, which is unusual. Not many uh, places have nice closets in both of, the, uh, both of the bedrooms. So I also tried to make an offer in this apartment. The owner was renting it for $800 a month. The expenses for this apartment were not that expensive. The expenses are like the monthly expenses for the building itself. Um, they were not that expensive. I asked about that and the price was not quite doing it for me because even though it was a very big apartment, it was 90 square meters in the middle, the middle of Palermo kind of Recoleta. It was three blocks away from a park that I really, really like, which is Parque Las Eras. I really, really liked everything about it, the size, the location, um, but not the price. So I tried to negotiate with the woman a little bit about the price because the market is open right now. So it's open to negotiation. Everything is a negotiation according to the the new precedent. So I asked her how low she could go. Like I offered her a top of 700 and she was asking me for 750 and two months of a deposit, knowing that I didn't have any other property to use as collateral. And talking to her a little bit, she was a little bit more flexible and she said, okay, just one month deposit and then $750 a, a month. But the price was still not cutting it for me. I was like, mm, this is still expensive. This is still, I don't, I don't know that my, I can do my monthly budget like this. Um, I thought about it too much. And then that day, that same day in the afternoon, she had already basically rented the apartment. So what I guess my takeaway from this for you is if you like an apartment, you need to make a reservation right away, basically, apparently. Because I was in negotiations with these women. I was talking to these women a Monday morning, uh, not really a Monday morning, but a Thursday morning. And then Thursday, that same afternoon, after I told her to give me some time to think about it, she said she basically already rented it. And it's like, well, looking back on it, the fact that I had only would have had to pay one month of a deposit would have been a good deal. But anyways, um, moving on. Let's go to apartment number three. Okay, apartment number three. I was talking to Marcelo, who's my friend that's been going to visit, that's been going to visit these apartments with me this whole time. I was talking to him about needing an apartment. And he talked to a friend of his. And that friend of his, his family has different properties that they want to rent, right? So they recommended me for this apartment and they knew that I didn't have another property as collateral, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's good. Great. 115 square meters, super, super big, a huge living room like you already saw. They also had that in-between space from the kitchen to the rest of the apartment. And that in-between space has a little, little closet, which is nice for storage. I absolutely loved the fact that the kitchen was this big. This is an unusually big kitchen. However, as you can see, all of the furniture is kind of fucked up and rusted. All of the things are wooden thing, are wooden cabinets and, and stuff were rusted and, and they needed to be replaced. And the kitchen itself was not working. It was being held up by a, a cable, a, a, a metal cable. And there, and there was this deposit space with a bathroom that was unusable. Like I asked for it and they, they said, no, it's out of order. And then they also had like this furniture that was wooden and was all messed up. And you had to, I would have had to take it out myself because they wouldn't have taken it out themselves. But anyways, okay. So you go through this in-between space through the kitchen. And then from that in-between space, you go to this bathroom, which I think it's the first bathroom. I think it had another bathroom. Then there's this uh, bedroom here. Again, I think it had three bedrooms, 115 square meters. I think it had three bedrooms. Or yes, you see, this is the second bathroom. It did have two bathrooms. Okay, no, it had two bathrooms, two bedrooms. It had that in-between space and then the two bathrooms. My problem is also that in the main bedroom, which apparently I did not record properly, um, it also had this very old wooden piece of furniture that was taking up a lot of space and it looked ugly and rusted and old. 
And I asked if they could take it out and they were like, no, I mean, you can take it out yourself, but, and then you can paint behind it, but they're not going to, like the owner is not going to do it. And she's also not going to do that for the old furniture that it's in that deposit back there. And, um, yeah, that's basically up to you. And the, the, um, the curtains to the balcony in Buenos Aires, you have like these persianas which are like curtains that look for it google it anyways but that those curtains from the balcony both in the main bedroom and in the living room were kind of damaged as well which would have made it difficult to put them up or take them down or whatever um and the apartment was on a first floor so using those blinds to kind of shut off the the noise was very important because it was on a first floor in a main avenue so a lot of noise incoming i made an offer because i was being recommended by my friend my friend's friend but uh, it was a way lower lower offer than they would have wanted me to like they offered it for six hundred and fifty dollars then they lowered it to six hundred dollars but my top offer was four hundred and fifty dollars because of everything that i needed to fix and also the monthly expenses from the building for the apartment were almost 150,000 pesos or 170,000 pesos for a building that doesn't give you anything you I, like usually when you pay that much in expenses you have amenities you have a pool you have a, a grill you have a, a, a zoom for for parties or whatever you have a gym you have other things in the building and that's why you pay so many expenses but this apartment didn't really have anything like the building was old and it was falling apart and the the elevators were the manual elevators you have to open and close yourself like there was absolutely no reason at all why the expenses should be that expensive so i made a very low offer and um we both said thank you but no thank you essentially Hello, good morning. Just to recap, I am looking for a place to live because um, they're not renewing my lease at the place where I am right now because the owner is selling her apartment to her sister. So they were nice enough to tell me with like three months in advance before my lease expired and I am on the hunt for an apartment now officially because we are almost finished in February right now. It is the 22nd of February and I still have no idea. I have no good prospect for where I could be moving. And the goal was to move, to rent a new apartment by the 15th of March so that I would have March as the last month of my current apartment and have like two weeks of overlap so that I could do the moving around a little bit more freely or, or calmly or however you want to say it um, and I still have no options I have no good prospects and I'm going to visit two apartments today and one apartment tomorrow and hopefully like this is gonna be the f between the three of them I'm gonna have visited five apartments and I know that's not that much um, but I just, I don't want to visit more apartments. It, it takes a lot of my time. I have to take time off work to go visit new apartments, and it's ridiculous. And if I don't find an apartment by the middle of M March, it's not like I'm going to be left out on the streets because I still have April as the last month of, of the r contract in these apartment. But I don't want it to take that long, and I'm traveling at the end of April, so I want to have everything ready before I travel. And also for my dog to settle in with me while I'm still here before my trip. Um, so yeah, I am hoping that the apartments that I'm going to visit this week are going are going to be good prospects. And uh, I'm hoping that one of those is going to be it. I'm going to take you with me, or uh, even if I don't actually take you with me, I'm going to try to record a better videos because I visited two apartments earlier three apartments oh, so I'm gonna have visited six apartments um, I visited three different apartments already and one of them was kind of a good option but it was very expensive and it needed a lot of work and the other one was too old and very expensive and I didn't like it and then the other one was okay-ish it was also old and it was being fixed but I, I made an offer and they didn't reply 
So I'm guessing that my offer was a no. So anywho, rental market is ridiculous right now. Okay, so we go to apartment number four. There was really nothing too wrong with apartment number four. This is the kitchen. It's a decent sized kitchen. I liked it. And if you go further into the kitchen, I, yes, we do go further into the kitchen. It has a little um, laundry space where you can put in like the mm -hmm. nice kitchen, right? The cabinets were not messed up. Everything was very well maintained. Very nice apartment. And then you have that little laundry space that's over there to put the washing machine. I am sad that it doesn't... Oh, yes, it did have a space. It had a laundry, an actual laundry. I like it. I, I liked that part. Not all of the apartments have an actual laundry space, which is sad. But anyways, the kitchen was right by the entrance. Now that I think about it, that... that curve over there to go to the to the living room very nice living room not very big not very small it was just a normal size but that curve over there would have made it difficult to fit all of my furniture there and then this is the bathroom regular size bathroom not too big not too small it has a bathtub it didn't have like the applications for the lights and they were like yeah you can put up any lamp that you like and then you take it out you take it with you when you leave which is kind of unusual honestly but okay, so it had a bathtub, and then this is the main bedroom. Main bedroom is not too big, not too small. It had a good closet. I could have put my suitcases in that space on top over there. But then the biggest problem for me was that the second bedroom was essentially another closet because it didn't have a closet itself. The second bedroom was very, very small. I don't think that I would have been able to put up my 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 office or my bed in that space. It was very, very small. And then the rest of the, the apartment did not compensate for all of the space that I needed for the rest of my things. The balcony was very good though, and it had a very nice view. But overall, because of the price and because of the size, like the price was not that bad. It was like $550. And it was on the, on the cheaper side compared to all of the other apartments that I've seen so far. And it was very well maintained. It was in Colegiales Palermo, relatively close to the subway. The requirements were, I believe it's a month's deposit or two months deposit. And then also the uh, they, they were asking me to hire the warranty to replace the, the property as collateral. Um, the real estate agent, I don't really mind dealing with real estate agencies. I've had a really good experience with real estate agencies so far, and I find that they're responsible when it comes to taking care of the apartments that they're managing. So the real estate agency was reassuring me that the owner was not gonna bother me at all. Like he, as long as I paid rent every month and I took care of the apartment, like he was not gonna bother me at all. He was not gonna be a bother. And I was like, okay, thank you for the reassurance. I'm not sure that that that's enough. But ultimately what made what made it a no for me was the fact that I needed two bathrooms because I have a dog and when I if I am not there, he pees in the bathroom. So I don't want to be in the situation where people have to go to the dog's bathroom essentially. And also the space was very small. So where would I have been able to put my things? If I had gone to a smaller apartment, all of my things would have been cramped and I would have probably had to get rid of some things because there was no storage space in this uh, in this building either. So ultimately that made it a no for me. Now you are going to see Sabrina from the past um, talk about apartment number four. Okay, so this apartment that I went to visit is essentially the apartment of my dreams. It has a ridiculously huge kitchen and it has a space which can be either uh, a lavatory or more of a deposit type of thing and the kitchen is huge and the living room is 10 meters long by four meters thick i don't know 10 by four and it used to be longer it used to be bigger but they divided it in order to make a sort of office space which is ridiculously big as well like i think it's maybe even a little bit bigger than my current main bedroom in this apartment. It doesn't have a closet, but it doesn't need to be a closet because it would be a, a, an office, right? Um, then big, huge ass living room, nice balcony that goes out to the street and you see the, the you, you can see the Bosques de Palermo, which is a really nice park. Um, then you have 
a second bedroom which is a little bit smaller but it has a great um has a great closet and that second bedroom would be for my mom whenever she came to visit or for anybody who ever came to visit honestly and then you have the main bedroom which has a ridiculously big closet and uh not only does it have a closet but it has the main bathroom inside the bathroom inside the bedroom fun fact i've never had a bathroom in my bedroom like i've never had an in-suite bathroom so that would be an interesting uh, that would be a nice experience honestly um long story short i loved the apartment i've vi that was the fifth apartment i visited i think um and that is the only one of the five apartments that i've visited that i've been like I like these apartments so much that I really want to make an offer for a reservation. I made an offer for the rental and I want to make a reservation. And I told the girl from the um, real estate company that's managing the apartment, I told her that. I told the woman that I wanted to make a reservation. Let me know how to make a reservation. I want to make a reservation. Let's make a reservation. Can I make a reservation? Um, and the woman was like, yes, yes, I have to figure out something about, like, the repairs are being done because there was some, like, water filtration or whatever and they're repairing that. And she said that she had to find something out about that and repair it. And um, and then she'd get back to me about the, uh, the, the reservation. That gave me a little bit of pause because usually real estate companies... Um, the managers, they want to get a reservation for the apartment as soon as possible. And the fact that she didn't want me to make the reservation right away was kind of sketchy for me. And I was a little bit nervous because I really, really liked the apartment. And it would have been perfect because because of their repairs, I can they, they're not expecting it to be ready by March 1st. So if it's ready by to if, if the apartment is ready for people to move in by the middle of March that would be perfect for me because I am looking for an apartment to move into by the middle of March so it would have been perfect but um I sent her a message after I finished after I left and I was like hey thank you for the time today please let me know how to move forward with the reservation I'm really really interested in the apartment and um later that day she told me that a little after I'd left the apartment Somebody else who had visited the apartment already went to make a reservation and an official offer. And I am a little bit sad because usually it's first come, first serve, right? And if that person went to visit the apartment and they didn't make the reservation right away and I was right there telling you that I wanted to make a reservation, usually real estate companies would have just um, accepted my reservation. Anywho, I've that is like the fifth apartment that I have been to that I have visited since I started looking for apartments to move into and none of them were particularly promising like yesterday apart yesterday morning I also went to another apartment and it looked a little bit promising but it's it's like half of the apartment that I went to yesterday later in the afternoon and um it's the one that I visited yesterday in the afternoon is the only one that I've been there and I've liked it so much that I've immediately felt like I wanted to make a reservation for it. I'm going to visit another apartment later today. Jose David is going to go with me and he's going to kind of help me. I don't know, I guess. Um, he's going to help me see if if that's the, the, the right apartment. But I'm still sad because this was 115 square meters of beautiful, beautiful space in a great, beautiful area next to a park, which if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I love parks. I love parks in Buenos Aires. And Los Bosques de Palermo is one of the biggest parks in the city. And it's also very beautiful. And you have El Rosedal right there. And you have the Japanese garden right there. And you have a lot of things right there. And it would be just a lot easier for me to decide that I'm going to leave my house to go to a park because the park is right there. Right now, even though the park is still walking distance, the park that I like the most um, is about a 20-minute walk. And yeah, sure, but it's also like when the walk is 20 minutes, I, I can say I can use those 20 minutes to work on these videos. I can use those 20 minutes to watch a, an anime episode or something like that. It's, it's becoming harder and harder for me to make the decision to leave my house. Um, just because I have so many other things that I need to take care of. So if I can make the decision to leave my house and it's just a two minute walk to sit at the park for 10 minutes and then come back, it's just a lot easier. And I would have loved that. Um, but if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, right? You will continue accompanying me in the chronicles of searching for an apartment. I will let you know how the visit today goes.
Okay, so let's go to apartment number five. Apartment number five was not actually an apartment. It was a PH. And what that means is that it's sort of like a house, but it's like in a specific type of complex. It's not, you're not in a building, but you're kind of like in between in a type of, of um, in a type of, uh, I don't know, residence, I guess, but individual properties, not in a, not a building, but like individual properties in the same space. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, so this bed she had a second floor. So this is the bedroom for the second floor, which could have worked like an office. But my problem with it is that I would like, if you see the doors, they're very fragile doors that go through a terrace. That's a very nice terrace. Yes, for hangouts and stuff like that. And it was next to a coffee place, which my friend that was visiting the apartment with me hated that coffee place. But the door was very fragile. And then if you notice the stairs to go down, they're very narrow. So going up or down those stairs was going to be a problem. And then taking the furniture up or down those stairs also was going to be a problem. That was a huge no for me. Like thinking about it now, I'm very, very happy that I did not go through. I did not go through that because it would have been very complicated to complete moving with those super, super tiny stairs. Okay, so then this is an in-between space after going to the upstairs part, the lavatory there in the outside area, apparently. <clears throat> then we have the kitchen, which is pretty old. All of the devices there are pretty old, but they were not rusted and they were not like, I guess that they could, they could have been worse. I guess that's what I mean. Um, so, okay. The kitchen was obviously not my favorite. Uh, there were other better options. Apparently I recorded a lot in this kitchen. Uh, the cabinets and stuff could have been better, but could have also been worse. At least it doesn't seem like, it's not, um, I forget to check on the on the water pressure on places that I go to, but apparently it's very important for you to check on the water pressure of the places that you go and try to rent. Uh, there are very little details that I always forget to check. Also, something that I didn't like is that I would have had to close 7,000 doors in order to close the apartment. And this was another space, a random space, whether it was the living room or the house or, or the, the, the bedroom, whatever. Anywho, I didn't much like this option because it looked very old. It could have had potential for some things, but at the end of the day, I didn't really feel that compelled. I've also found that if it's not an immediate yes, what is this piece of furniture in the middle of the place? Anyways, if it's not an immediate yes, then you most likely just don't want to, you don't want to live there. And the bathroom was also pretty old. This is the biggest no from the property for me. The bathroom is really, really old and well, whatever. Uh, it was also very ugly. Um, the price was about 750 thousand pesos or 700,000 pesos, something like that. I don't know. It was negotiable and they were asking for the warranty to hire from companies, but the owner was offering to pay half of it, which is unusual, but it was ultimately a no for me. Okay, so we are back and it's a different time of the day because of several reasons, because my camera died, because I had to um, actually start working, because the first part or the last part of the video that I recorded earlier today, the audio got messed up for some reason. So we are back and I'm hoping the audio is not gonna be messed up this time around. I probably should have tested that, I guess. Anywho, it is what it is. Let's get started. Let's get back into it. So this is apartment number six. I did not know how to count before that, but yeah, let's go with apartment number six. Is it number six? Let me confirm if it's apartment number six. I believe it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is apartment number six. Let's get started with apartment number six. Okay, so apartment number six had these great um, 
thing that it's it's a newer apartment. It's in Palermo Colegiales, uh, more or less like that. And we were going to visit like the amenities of the building because it has a pool. And I think that thing that you see at the right is like a, a quincho or a place to just hang out and sit by the pool. But there were so many mosquitoes that day that we saw the pool a little bit from afar. We saw how like the size of the pool. And then we we're like, you know what? Let's get out of here because we don't want to be eaten by mosquitoes. And we just ran out of there. Um, it was a very nice place. Then we arrived to the apartment and the, this is the living room that you're seeing. And from the living room, we go to the balcony and the balcony has an integrated grill, which is not very common even for new apartments. Like the fact that the balcony is big enough for you to have your own grill is not very common. And then the balcony is very, very big and it also goes to the main bedroom, which is very, very nice. Um, that's the real estate agent. So we go to the bedroom and in the bedroom we have a closet, kind of a nice closet. It has everything you need. It has the drawers and like the little shelves and whatever. So. It basically does the job. It does everything you need a closet to do. Um, it's not as big as I would have liked it to be. It was not as big as the other closet that I had in my previous apartment, but um, it's a very nice closet. And the best part about this apartment here is the bathroom, because as you can see, it's a huge bathroom. It has a bathtub, then a very big mirror and very big countertops. I don't know if that's how you call it in the bathroom, but let's say a very big countertop for your stuff. So from the main bedroom, we go back to the living room and it's an integrated kitchen. That's not my favorite part of the apartment because it makes me feel like the smells and like the dirt and whatever from the kitchen is going to go over to the rest of my stuff. But um, otherwise, the apartment is very nice. And we go to the second bedroom. And in the second bedroom, we have a little, little, very little closet, which is shared with the water heater. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, but then the good part about this apartment is that it has a half bathroom in the small bedroom bedroom. So if there's anybody over, you can send them to the small bathroom. Or if you share an apartment with anybody and you have two bathrooms, then it's better because you guys can like actually go to the bathroom at the same time, right? So about this apartment, I remember that I really liked it. It was a little bit more on the expensive side of things, but the real estate agent that was working that apartment um, really gave me a lot of reassurance, like the way that she handled everything was very nice. Um, I really liked the fact that it had amenities. And when I talked to her about the price, it was a little bit more on the expensive side of things. It was $800 a month. But um, the real estate agent said, you know what, I am really trying to make this a good offer for both the owner who's renting the apartment and also whoever is actually renting the apartment because I understand how difficult things are right now. And um, I asked her if it was possible to lower the rent and she said yes. And she said that she would negotiate that with the owner for me. So I told her that I was very, very interested in actually making a reservation, that I had another apartment that I was going to go visit in that moment. Um, like right after visiting that apartment, I went to visit another apartment and she said, you know what? I like your profile a lot. There are, not, there are other people who are gonna come and visit the apartment today, but I really do like your profile. I think that you're a very good fit. So if you tell me that you are interested, then you will be taking priority over everybody else who's seeing the apartment. And I told her, thank you for that. Give me two hours after I visit this apartment and I will give you a definite answer. So that's what I did. Um, having that said, let's go over to see apartment number seven. Okay, so apartment number seven starts with the view of the bathroom from the upstairs floor because um, apartment number seven was a loft or a duplex. It was a, a duplex type of thing. It was very curious that the, the sink of the bathroom was outside of the actual bathroom, but this is the top floor of the duplex. It has a very, very good closet. And that was my friend Jose David. Then the top floor also has a French balcony, which means that you don't actually have a balcony. You just open the window and then like you're right there. And that's very scary for me. Then it also had that weird storage space and um, they were saying that you could use this storage space but it's very difficult to kind of put things 
in that space without falling off of the stairs, which were not that big. They were kind of narrow. So it's really complicated to actually like go up and down the stairs. Um, and then this is the living room. And then that's the real estate guy. And we have the kitchen. The kitchen was a separate kitchen, which I like, but it the, the conditions of the kitchen were not that bad. They were not the best, but they were also not that bad. The things it could have probably done with a little bit of work. You can see there's a little bit of humidity in the in the floor. And that thing that the real estate guy is doing, like kneeling against the railing of the balcony, I'm, I, I would never do that. I get super scared. And then we're going to go to the main bedroom. And in the main bedroom, it also goes to the main balcony. And from the main bedroom, we have a kind of walk-in closet that is like a hall towards the main bathroom. And the main bathroom was a little bit messed up. Like the floor of the tub was ridiculously dirty and also like peeled. Um, and then the bathroom was so tight and small that the door would always hit the, the, the toilet. But um, I, it's, it, it's still a nice place, right? What I didn't like about the main, um, what I didn't like about the main bedroom is that if you look at the video again, if you go back and look at the video again, like the wall between the main bedroom and then the living room, they were like folding doors. So you could open that wall and, um, you would be able to see if, if through the cracks to the main living room, to, to the main bedroom, or you could open the door and like just waltz into the bedroom, which I am not really a big fan of. Um, one good thing that these apartment had that none of the other apartments had is like both of the bedrooms have a, a separate bathroom. And then it also has a guest bathroom outside in the living room, which I'm not showing here. Um, but anyways, the conditions for these apartment were, I believe two months deposit, one month of rent in advance, and then also the rental insurance. Like usually you give two months of a deposit when you don't have rental insurance, but this owner was demanding rental insurance and also two months of a deposit. And I just think that is unreasonable and it was non-negotiable like this at the market is open to negotiation right now but this dude was not open to negotiation at all it was everything was non-negotiable and then the kicker for this is that the real estate agency was also charging a 20 percent commission for the total amount of the contract. So if it was 24 months, you have to pay 20% of the total rent payment of those 24 months. So for this, because the price was about $750, that would have been like $3,600 in commission, which is preposterous. That's ridiculous. I don't know if anybody at all agreed to that, but I was certainly not going to agree to that. So you can guess that what I did right after I left that apartment, essentially right after that, is that I texted the girl from apartment number six and I told her, um, yes, I want to make a reservation for this apartment. So that's what I did. And that's where I am right now. Um, so it was a little bit of a roller coaster for me. It definitely took more time than I would have liked it to. I know that I only visited seven apartments, but it feels like I had to work a lot through it because I reached out to a lot more than just seven apartments. And um, one of the things that I hated about this whole process is that they don't necessarily list all of the requirements in the publication. So why would you give yourself more work? Like if you know that you're not going to take me because I have a dog, then just put that in the requirements in the publication that you're posting online, right? But that is apparently not the logical thing to do for many people. Um, if you made it this far into the, into the video, this is a very long video. I think it's going to be like almost an hour long. Um, if you made it this far into the video, comment an emoji, comment um, like, I don't know, the, the fireworks emoji in, in the comment section below. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it, it means the world that you take the time to watch these videos, I guess. I hope it was helpful. I hope that it gives you an idea of what it's actually like trying to look for an apartment here in Buenos Aires. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Are you looking for an apartment in Buenos Aires anytime soon? 
what's your budget do you think that this is reasonable that it is unreasonable is it similar to how it is in your city i appreciate you with everything i've got so um yeah have a great rest of your day i will put up a video somewhere here for you to watch if you want to watch another video of me and i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one